EACTS guidelines, meaning that's a joint guidelines that were developed together between surgeons and cardiologists. The main objective has been to formulate a clear and cutting-edge recommendations with the highest possible uh, level of evidence then can be applied to all patients suffering from coronary artery disease if we compare with the 2010 guidelines. In these guidelines for patients with left anterior descending LAD disease, for both PCI and cabbage, we provide a class one recommendation. The simple take-home message is there are a lot of very important recommendation in these guidelines. It will help uh, for all cardiologists and cardiac surgeons all over the world working together and improve the management of patients with coronary artery disease. In Culprit, 296 patients with heart attacks from seven UK centres were randomised to primary PCI either of the infarct-related artery only or to have complete revascularization to include non-infarct-related arteries as well. We found that there was a, a hazard ratio of 0.45, 55% uh, reduction in uh, the overall MACE at 12 months. It's provocative. It's interesting. It uh, mirrors what was found in PRAMI a year ago and supports uh, some of the findings of PRAMI who found also similar results and tells us that uh, maybe we should at least be thinking about treating the patients for complete revascularization during their index admission. STIX is a collaborative project in which 1,920 patients having cardiac surgery received intensive perioperative rosuvastatin or placebo. We saw that uh, rosuvastatin treatment uh, uh, had no impact on the main outcomes. So 20% of patients had uh, a new onset of atrial fibrillation in the post-operative period in the placebo group and 21% in the, percent in the rosuvastatin group. Uh, and similarly, there was uh, a 2% difference in favor of the placebo in the uh, troponin curve. Statins have uh, very well uh, described pleiotropic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant uh, effects, but these effects do not have an impact on patient's outcome in the post-operative period. COPS2 looked at the potential of pre-operative colchicine to prevent post-pericardotomy syndrome, post-operative effusion and atrial fibrillation. It randomised 360 consecutive cardiac surgery candidates from 11 centres in Italy. Uh, colchicine uh, redu uh, reduces the incidence of the primary outcome, the um, incidence of the post-pericardiotomy syndrome within three months by 10%. Uh, for the secondary endpoint, uh, colchicine did not reduce uh, the incidence of uh, the post-operative atrial fibrillation and post-operative effusion because of increased rate uh, of uh, uh, side effects uh, related to gastrointestinal intolerance. Uh, colchicine was efficacious to prevent the post-pericardiotomy syndrome. The outcome of the patient who experienced the complication was not so bad and considering the side effects probably is better in this case to treat patient with the complication instead of preventing it before surgery because of the rate of possible gastrointestinal intolerance. 